trying to create these instruments that are robotic so that they, they just play themselves. And some of the idea behind that is, you know, when I'm playing music, I really like those moments when I find a new sound or when I, uh, when I surprise myself. And s after I've been doing this for a while, I got to the point where it was really hard to surprise myself. So now I'm kind of into the idea of making a machine that can surprise me. So I can just turn it on and sit down and listen to it and be excited about what happens. And when that gets old, then I build something else and listen to that for a while. So Kenny, how does it feel? It feels amazing. Amazing? So what I can do is take a stereo, just a regular stereo amplifier, run audio into it, and pump that into the back of this TV, and that beam of light then draws the sound wave in real time. The lyrics didn't make any lines on there. It was just a beat. Yeah. So if you was to play acapella, it would sit still. No, that's not true. Because oh. every sound, what you notice, this mm -hmm. is actually really great. Sound is super, super complex. When you listen mm -hmm. to something like a track, you got low frequencies, you got high frequencies, and what happens is the beat is what's punchy and what really jumps out. So you see those pulses, and our eye is drawn to those. The vocals were doing all kinds of stuff in there, mm -hmm. but it's really hard to catch when the vocals are also getting bumped. If we could separate it and just have the vocals, you somebody's got to be able to sing a song. So can somebody play a cappella or sing or something? So yeah, I can see? If, if somebody can sing. Something, something as simple as me hearing your name, hearing your name. Please, I wish that you'll understand that I want to be more than just your friend. I wish you loved me.